everyone, Vegas Film Critic here, Jeffrey K. Howard, here to talk about the third movie in the Divergent series called Allegiant. And, I, you know, I'm a huge fan of this series. I'm not a Hunger Games guy. I don't know why. I mean, I like the first one, the second one's pretty cool, but just the last two, I'm just not a fan of a lot of the characters or the storyline. But the Divergent movies, I'm really a fan of. I love the first one. I think I've watched that 30 times off HBO every time it's on or I have the DVD. I just love Divergent. Second one, though, Insurgent. You know, it's just it's just kind of worth it on me. I thought it was kind of dull. But now we have the third one, Allegiant. And what's cool about Allegiant is we finally get to see what's beyond that wall. It's been driving me crazy. You know, what is beyond that wall? So now we have uh, four and we have Triss and our gang that make this uh, escape over the wall to find out what's out there. Now, I've read Variety's Review and Hollywood Reporter, some of the big boys, you know, that are out there before, you know, I saw the, I've seen this movie a couple days before it comes out, so the big boys have released their reviews and I read them, and I just kept thinking, you know, like, take Daily Variety, they explained everything. I mean, I think this movie's spoilers, you know? What's beyond that wall? Do you want me to tell you everything that's beyond that wall? I mean, it, it, it explains a lot of things. There's still a lot of questions, but it explains exactly what's going on in Chicago. It's going on why there are all these different factions. It, it explains what a divergent is, literally. You know, it's a different meaning than you think it is. What Trish's, Trish's role is in it. Trish. Triss's role in it. What is uh, Four's role? I mean, everybody, it, it just stands everything on its ear. I haven't read the books, so don't blame me for not understanding what's going on. But, uh, of course, they took this last film and they split it in two. The next one, Summer 2017. I mean, God, we gotta wait till next year to see the sequel to this? And the last movie did 20 million less than the one before that, so, you know, you know Summit, be careful. So instead of telling you what's beyond the wall, which I think if I explain what goes on, I, you know, I think it's going to ruin it. I know Jeff Daniels, there is something, there's another society. Uh, that's, I don't want to tell you what's going on. I want to tell you all the answers that's going on beyond that wall. But what I can tell you is that Chicago is, a, is, is all the factions are having a war right now. So Octavia Spencer's group, and then we also have uh, Naomi Watts' group, they're about to do this big battle. But they don't understand that their battling is being controlled. Okay, I'm just I'm just really just on the line of spoilers here. I'm not going to ruin anything for you. People have been saying I've been spoiling movies lately, and I'm like, no, I haven't. I haven't told you. I'm not telling you what's beyond, beyond the wall. I'm not telling you what the plan is of what happens beyond that wall, but everything beyond that wall, have I said that beyond that wall enough, affects everything in Chicago. It all ties together. There's still a lot of questions uh, at the end of uh, Allegiant um, so that we have to wait for the next one to find out. But a lot of answers have been given to find out, like, especially Divergent, like, everything. It kind of just kind of all falls into place. But the movie is like, you know, Shailene Woodley has, doesn't really have much of a role in this. She's a born leader. You know how tough she was in all the other movies? This she becomes almost like a, like a ghost, you know? We have to wait for Theo James, who plays four. He steps up to the plate and gives us some great action. But it just can't, seems kind of choppy at places. Hey, I have to admit, the CGI in this movie, some of the computer effects were not that great. The, the really bad looking green screen effects. And the movie just had a lot of whys, why a lot of things are happening. I mean, I came up with more questions than before. I had my questions answered from Divergent, finally, you know, what's going on, but then it left me with even more. People are saying, well, it's a cliffhanger. Well, it's a cliffhanger, but it's just like some of the plots don't make any sense. And I can't tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I can't wait to see what other critics do, or film reviewers on YouTube say, because I'm not going to tell you what's beyond that wall, because I think that would ruin the movie. If you told me what was beyond that wall, what's the point of them venturing out there and discovering everything? Okay, so don't do it. So I think this is, it's better than uh, the last Divergent film, and I still think the first one's the best. So, there it is. Maybe should I do a spoiler. Let me know. Comment below. Do you want me to do a spoiler review and tell you what's beyond that wall and how all that works and how some of it doesn't work? Let me know. Comment below. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. Uh, comment below. Give me a like, thumbs up, and please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 people before, for, before Labor Day. I don't wear dentures, but that could happen. I'm Jeffrey G. Howard. Thanks for watching.